So another addendum video. Just uh, want to talk about the backup system for a CAT B series excavator uh, computer control system. Uh, if ever your speed dial fails to control the engine speed or something otherwise has gone electrically wrong with the machine where the uh, horsepower control or governor actuator control is not correct. There is a backup system for the monitor panel. Back on a, on a B series excavator back here on the behind the right hand console there's two switches. If I flip that one up, the one closest to me, that's a backup switch. The monitor just went blank even though the key's still on. Um, I don't have any monitor display so this isn't a long-term solution or anything because I don't have any warning system, I don't have any monitoring of pressures or, or levels. So I, even when I start the engine I've got no monitor. I'll also have no throttle control with the speed dial. So once I'm in backup, there's another momentary spring centered switch here that if I lift it, it will rev the engine up. If I lower it, it will throttle the engine down. So that's just momentarily powering the bi-directional DC motor that winds the, the, the throttle cables up and down. So again, that's in backup position. If I take the switch out of backup, put that back down, my monitor panel will come on again does its pre-start level checks and then I'm back to having throttle dial control and then the momentary switch for throttle becomes disabled. So it's good to know about these uh, switches should your speed dial control uh, fail or you need to limp the machine onto a float because the uh, horsepower control of the pumps has failed or whatever the situation is. You've got some control of, uh, of engine uh, RPM plus when you go into backup as soon as I flip that backup switch up uh, instead of getting a proportional signal to the uh, pump PRV the proportional reducing valve a fixed voltage goes to the PRV solenoid in the pump compartment and sets the pumps to a uh, horsepower position similar to uh, economy mode so if you don't have your plus kilowatt on, you're probably about 80% uh, hydraulic power, I forget the exact number, but you, you'll be able to, again, walk the machine onto the float in a situation where maybe the proportional reducing valve control wiring uh, or the, the software has lost its ability to control that PRV. If the solenoid's failed, this mode's not really going to help you. If the governor actuator cables have fallen off, this mode's not going to help you. It's just basically overriding the computer control or ECM control of those functions. And again, that's just unique to CAT B-Series excavators.